So being isn't necessarily, I think sometimes I interpret being because I am obviously a dooaholic. Like I know it, I'm very aware of it. I, and sometimes I am in a state of flow. So I do click into that being and doing when I'm painting, there is little thought and I feel balanced and it's this beautiful moment. But there are times where I'm furiously scrubbing the floors and I know I'm just doing it to kind of distract myself and to feel you know, like I'm, you know, doing something. Um, I don't know. I'm not even sure why I'm doing it. I just can't. I'm, I, I know what it is. I don't want to just sit with what's there. I don't want to sit with whatever feelings are bubbling under. That it's a total distraction. Well, we don't, want to, we don't. We don't like suffering, do we? I yeah. mean, we, you know, we've been we've been told this myth that somehow we're not supposed to suffer. I mean, yeah. A, you know, a big part of life is feeling uncomfortable and then moving away from feeling uncomfortable. And then you feel comfortable, then you feel uncomfortable. That, that's just part of the deal. There's no escape yeah. from that. There's no such thing as a perfect, blissful life. However, what the being thing does is it anchors us in a safe, peaceful place. So if we're firmly anchored in the being, then we can experience the pain and it becomes interesting. I mean, I know it's a mm. terrible thing to say for people that are suffering greatly, but the reason that people suffer greatly is because they abandon that part of them is okay. 